Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another video from me, the Scarender. And uh, today we're going to do a bit of a smaller video because the big tier change is that is posted from uh, Smogon every three months was actually posted. And uh, it has the tier changes from just that, <laughs> obviously. And there isn't the biggest tier changes, and the very reason for this is because the tier actually has been for quite some time now, somewhat balanced. There are a few things in NU that are a bit too strong, and you know, vice versa. Two weeks from RU, it actually dropped. So it actually it is actually very very exciting. So we're just gonna go through my stance and just go through the list. So it's gonna be a big of a jumps, but uh, you guys are probably gonna get it. And uh, I'm gonna talk more in depth with the changes I think mattering. And also, um, I'm not a big P uh, PU player, so. The jumpster is not really gonna matter too much for me, so we're gonna start with Kecleon being from BL4 to NU. Huh? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and then we have, of course, the Elaid, who is from BL3 to RU. And you know, that makes a lot of sense. It, it was banned to the BL3 and it was moved afterward to RU. And um, it's strong, it should definitely be an RU Pokemon. So it felt really weird that it wasn't that for a while, but um, at least, you know, now it is in this right tier, of course. And then we have Polyraft, who uh, went from PU to NU, and I do believe that's a big deal, um, because not too far, just to have at least, uh, the, the little knowledge I do have about PU is that I do remember Fro being banned from uh, PU because it was too strong, and now Polyraft seemed to get that ban too, which basically means there are very few decent fighting types left in uh, that tier. So Machoke is probably going to get a whole lot of usage now, because I think it's now basically it's an unrivaled uh, fighting Pokemon as of now. And then we have Sneasel, who went from BL3 to RU. It, it's really strange. He got the BL ban, I think, what is that, a, a week ago, and we basically knew that it was going to be RU no matter what. But I guess, you know, the BL3 now is pretty much uh, make sure that it can drop back on because it moved to RU for reasons. <laughs> so like I said, it's actually kind of strange to see it um, move upward, but it, it was expected to be move upwards, that's why it was so weird to have that ban on it. But then again, you know, they do list the things they're gonna ban, so I get it at the same time. Um, then we have Skuntank, who actually dropped from RU to NU. Now that's exciting, because we have very few working dark Pokemons in NU, and besides that, Defoggers were the very mean of it. So that's cool. That's a that is actually very exciting. I hope this guy isn't getting a BL, but um, it doesn't find much use in RU. It actually is fairly good in RU, but for some reason people are really using it, and that's why it's obviously dropping. And I'll definitely say that this thing is gonna do magic. Now Gramble's gonna have a run for his money. Uh, he cannot deal with his thing properly, and they also go for Shift Tree. Uh, back in XY when it started and it shifted the NU tier, Shifter was a part of that, but it got moved up very fast. Now Shifter is back, and I do see this thing being raised up again, sadly, because Shifter is really good. But, uh, you know, much like Fletchhinder, make sure to get the, the most of use out of it, because it's a generally good Pokemon, so it's going to be really fun seeing him in the NU. And, of course, mentioning Fletchhinder was just that... You got, of course, the boot. And that's too bad, too. Once Magneton was gone, um, <laughs> there was not, nothing stopping this Fletchhinder. And, of course, it got really overpowered fast. So we get the, we get that evolution there. It it makes sense. And then we have Klefki we got from BL to OU. So now we can drop again to UU if that were the case. But we know, or rather, I think it's too strong for UU still. But it's good it did move up. It's important for the Pokemon itself. Klefki, of course, is super powerful. Not by strength, but by the bulk. Uh, next up, we have the Ponyo, who moved from PU to NU. Now, I do believe that's a big deal, too. Uh, Ponyo is super, super good in NU, having the right amount of bulk, a lot of resistances, and it works really well with you know any ghost type, to be honest. So seeing that one go, of course, is a big deal. But at the same time, I think most people are using the NU rather than PU. It, for me, it's a bit too strong for PU. It has the strength and, you know, of course, Sucker Punch, which makes it super viable. Um, I don't know what it means for PU, but I'm thinking that um, 
a good wall definitely disappeared. And then we have one of the biggest change, and you know, the, I've been asking for this for so long. Hitmonchan, a decent rapid spinner. Not in RU, but in NU, this guy is gonna work. This guy is really gonna work. I'm looking forward to using this Pokemon on my own. And the, the irony is, of course, that Fletcher is dropping at the same time. Because that means there aren't really that much more viable flying types to take this guy out. Uh, it is, you know, with Glade gone, Hitmonchan is actually really, really viable here. Um, so it's gonna be very interesting to see him in here. Um, I don't know how this will end, to be honest with you guys. I do believe that Hitmerchan can move up to RU again because of that, but at the same time, I hope it really isn't. Um, and then we have, of course, the Magneton. We got a BL ban, move to RU. This is the second time this guy do this. And the Typlosion, same treatment there. So that means at least that now it can drop from BL to RU, or from RU to NU because the BL ban is, of course, only there to make sure that if it get enough new chests, it's just going to go up to RU. So hopefully it will drop. And Karakalsta from PU to NU. I had no idea this guy was PU. Seriously? Kara fucking Costa. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and then we have Totera. And it's kind of the same reaction there. Totera is awesome. I it's definitely too strong for uh, for PU. And then we got God Totera got moved from OU to UU. Now before everybody goes with uh, Shadow Tag um shenanigans, remember uh, sorry for John. <laughs> we don't do retakes. Um, got to tell, while being a very, very good Pokemon on its own, the Shadow Tag ability is actually banned from UU plays. So it is only viable, no use. So don't get too excited. Sadly, got to tell is, um, to say the least, it's a viable Pokemon in UU and I'm looking forward to using it. But we can't use it as most people was hoping for. And uh, yeah, people just have to deal with that. And then, of course, got Auroras, who moved from PU to NU. I don't know. Auroras has a rough time, but after all, it, it isn't a lot of, you know, steep competition when it comes to uh, <laughs> the likes of um, Priora or for, um, what would you call it, steel moves, but we still got the fighting moves. And I mean, with uh, Hitpunchan now a part of NU, this is, it's gonna get really ugly for Auroras. I don't see it sticking around in NU, sadly. And I really like Auroras, but you know, four times weakness and Mac Punch and Bullet Punch sucks. A lot. And then we got the Yukes, actually, from NU to RU. And to be honest, I always thought that both Mesprit and Yuxi are too powerful and bulky for, uh, for the NU tier. So at least seeing one of them go is, of course, important. Um, I don't know if it's going to stay in RU, though, because um, Yuxi is, well, it's good. It has clear limits, and that's why it's never really stuck around in higher tiers. So, I don't see how that will go. To be honest, I don't. But yeah, I think that will make the list. Uh, one thing that I really thought uh, we were going to see was actually to see Trevenant move, even drop from RU to NU. Uh, that did not happen, and um, but I think it will happen eventually, and I'll definitely see Type Lotion dropping from uh, RU to NU because its niche is kind of dying. Um, people have been now been abusing that really well, so I think it's gonna come back to NU in the next tier change. We're three months away from that, so I can only speculate. And of course, we have the regular updates from Smogon every month, but there are small changes. But as the tier stands now. <sighs> a lot joining. I'm sorry. It's kind of late here, sadly. But um, as the tier stands right now, I really feel that they're all balanced. Um, and uh, these changes aren't really a big game changers. I'm glad to have two more dark types in NU. And I'm glad to see Sneasel gone. And uh, besides that, yeah, I'm glad to see Hitmonchan. But the, like I said, the changes weren't really that big. And I think that's good. It tells us that the tier as of right now is fairly balanced so you guys want to thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this and uh, hope you of course get good uses out of it and i'll see you guys on the next stream of course with these guys in mind so until then take care bye